with another video this time it's a preview uh, for the Stoke game and uh, you can see Reggie's bum in the background which I'm sure you're all really uh, liking anyway I'm uh, just going to go chat about potential team lineup changes and obviously a key man for tomorrow um, yeah the formation it'd be really interesting to see what lineup David Moyes is going to go with, is he going to change it, is he going to stick with what we played with for the last few games uh, you'd be forgiven for thinking that he might change it up purely for the fact that Stoke have got the worst defence in the league uh, worse than us which that's saying something isn't it so yeah you'd think that he'd possibly go with more of an attacking side but I don't think he will I think he's going to stick with what we played with the uh, last few games and I never thought I'd say this but I'm actually in agreement I think we could all be getting a little bit carried away a bit too soon. I'm not, I mean, you can't ever take away from our performances uh, the credit to Moyes and the team. But these are the games that we need to win. These are so important. Not that any game is not important, but, you know, you're stoke away. It's a tough game. And I just think we need to calm down a little bit and actually stick with what we played with that we've sort of perfected the last few games and um, take it from there, see how the game unfolds make the changes as and when necessary uh, yeah I think go out to attack him and not giving Stoke any credit could be a dangerous thing so for me stick with the same team uh, but I would change Antonio I keep going on and on and on about it but I just think we need to give him a rest I'd like to see Chicharito start I don't think he will I think I think it'll be exactly the same team Oh, one change which I'll mention in a minute um, I think he'll start with Antonio but if he is going to start with him I just hope he subs him as soon as he's looking tired he's left it a little bit too late for me in the last couple of games so yeah that's what I would would say if he's going to play please don't leave him on there till he's totally in ineffective uh, obviously the, the definite change is uh, Winston Reid is suspended and it's likely that James Collins is going to come in for him and yeah, I, I love Winston Reid and I think he should always be starting if he can. But I also really rate Ginge. Uh, he is just an old school defender with real passion and well, is it's the sort of player I love. So I'm pleased to see him back and I know that he'll really be pleased to come back. Just a little bit of an itch. Yeah, he'll, he'll be loving coming back and uh, being out on the field. So hopefully he has a good game and all goes well there. Um, the key player tomorrow, uh, I think it's obvious, and everyone would know, is going to be an out of pitch. It's a bit much now, come on. And um, yeah, he. I think he's going to be so up for tomorrow, and you know, I think he's going to have a lot of abuse from the home fans, and I think that's just going to spur him on. I think it's going to work in his favour, work in our favour. I think he's going to have a point to prove. Uh, when he left, there was got a bit of hatred from from the home fans they weren't happy about it um, which I, I do understand but I think from Arnie's point of view is just is gonna go all out the more the more abuse he gets the better he's gonna play well I hope so uh, the only thing I will say is I don't know if he's just gonna get a bit too worked up that he might get carded but hopefully that'll only be a yellow not a red um, Arnie in general there is just something about him that just gives me this little bit of hope that it's going to be something special. I've not been this excited since Pyatt. Uh, I hopefully it doesn't end up being another Pyatt story. Uh, but I don't know what it is. And I know it's crazy really because at the beginning of the season people were really <laughs> hating on him. Uh, lazy, uninterested, arrogant, all those things. And, you know, I think really I, they he, he was lots of those things but he's worked so much harder since Moyes has, has arrived and that's so obvious to see and he just I just think if the fans are behind him I think he's going to relish that and I think it's going to be a two-way street and I, and I believe that he could be a potential West Ham star legend is way too early to say that way too early but there's I don't know I really don't know what it is I don't know if anyone knows what it is and if you agree with me I'm talking rubbish but there's something special there, I can see it, and I can see him loving being at West Ham. I nearly said at Upton Park. Oh, God. 
really need to get over that as well. Um, yeah, so anyway, let me know what you think. Do you think he could be a potential star? Or do you still not really rate him? I don't see how anyone can't rate him. Uh, do you think Moyes will start with the same team? Or do you think we should change it up and go more attacking? Pleased to see Ginge back. Let me know. Or, oh, and Antonio. Do you still think Antonio should start? Or like me, do you think we need to give somebody else a chance? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. And follow me on Twitter at Flump9. Come on, you islands.